Hi everyone, it's Karen Tamir here, and I'm here at the Prima booth, and I'm gonna be doing a demo on the new Finnabar matte waxes. They are just amazing. They're super, super creamy and so malleable. You can use them on almost any surface, and you don't even have to prep the surface with gesso or anything like that. It just makes it look vintage antique. And they're also like these creamy things that you can add to many different things and get so many different techniques with them. They almost look like creamy paints, if I want to say that, or antiquing creams. So I want to show you a couple of techniques that I've been doing with them. And one of the really beautiful ones that I like doing is the patina effect, which is this. And I'm going to show you how easy and how quick it is to do this. So I'm taking one of these pieces, which is a mold that I created from the Frank Garcia molds. And they're made with resin. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this patina on top and this is a stencil brush or a stipple brush there's different names for them and all you have to do is just basically go around and cover everything with it the patina has a beautiful beautiful color and it just looks amazing when you add it fully onto a project you can use this on wood you can use this on resin metal or anything and it works beautifully on all of them and what i like about them is that's matte our other waxes are very bright and shimmery and this is all a matte um, a matte almost creamy paint now that this is all covered it's really easy to just add little highlights of accent so i'm going to bring one of the older waxes which is the vintage gold it's one of my favorite ones that i've ever used and all i'm going to do is i'm going to use my finger and just lightly add accents to it these golden accents so you get this antiquing look and it's very very neat and you can see i'm going very finely on top of the elements that way i'm getting only whatever my finger touches and nothing else and that way you can add as much gold or as much patina as you like and that will give a really cool effect and you can use this on furniture on basically anything all the redesign with prima it can be used on as well now i'm going to show you a second technique and this is more of a patina where you get like the darker shadows underneath and i'm going to use the rusty brown and the rusty gold with it as well so I want to take the rusty brown and I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to cover everything and you think it's really dark, but it actually almost looks like a chocolatey brown. And it looks really nice because it gives the shadow. So when you're putting it first as a first layer, it will give you shadows underneath. So when you're adding the patina, it will look as if there is three layers on top of it. So I'm quickly going to cover and the only reason I'm using smaller pieces is because of a demo and I want to make sure that I'm able to cover everything. Now they clean easily from your hands, so it's not a problem. You can just do that and then just go and clean your hands. Then I'm going to take the red one and this time you can either use another brush or just with your fingers and add a little bit of the red. And you can see how creamy they are because they actually blend together with the other one. So this gives it a really nice effect. And the last step is to add again the patina. Now I like using my fingers a lot, but you don't have to do that. You can always use another brush or something to just add it. And this is a more of an antiquing look in the sense that you can add the patina anywhere you want. You can also go back and add some gold to it as well and have that same effect that I did before. So if you compare the two, one of them really looks like an antique patina, while this one looks like a brown, rusty brown patina. So you can get two different effects doing that. The third and final effect, which I really love, and I just, it happened basically by accident, is to do this one. It almost looks like an antiquing cream on top of a, a project. So I'm gonna take another, another piece and what I did for this one is that I'm used the charcoal black which is really easy and covers beautifully it's not as black as you think as it is it looks more charcoal and all I'm doing is just covering this everywhere 
the same way I did before so the technique doesn't, doesn't change. What changes is the colors and the antiquing look. And you can use these for like shabby chic projects or even mixed media projects, anything goes. Just make sure that you get on the sides of the embellishments to make sure that nothing stays white because otherwise it will look differently. Once you've covered it with black, all I did is I took the white, which is a beautiful white color, and it un and added on top. And what it did is that it made it look antique. It's almost like an antiquing cream. And I love this effect because it looks so beautiful together. So you can put as many, as much white as I want, or you can put a little bit and it will give you the same effect. So how, how beautiful is that? That looks really nice if you want to add it to any project and it looks antique. It doesn't look like we just made it with some resin molds. Thanks for watching this video that was filmed in Phoenix, Arizona at AFCI's 2020 Creativation event. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.